Beloved in Christ, a warm welcome to all of you to St. Anselm Church and to our morning Mass. Beloved, today is the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. And our prayer mostly is to pray that God grants us the ability to know that he is the one who is always there to help us. So we begin with our hymn number 222. O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come. God for my help. The Lord sustains my soul. I will sacrifice to you with willing heart and praise your name, O Lord, for it is good. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Beloved in Christ, as we said in the beginning, we want to welcome all of you to our Mass this morning. Our prayer is that God continues to help us in time of need, that he will never leave us, because it is a promise that he has given unto us. We pray that we stand firm in this promise and be willing to continue to soldier on in this our Christian journey. Beloved, today is the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Brethren, let us acknowledge our saints and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Kyrie, Kyrie, Eleazar. You 
came to call sinners. seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. We will joyfully sing the Gloria. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth is people of the world. God in the highest and on earth is people of the world. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your glory, Lord God and the King. favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Please sit. First reading, a reading from the Book of Wisdom, chapter 12, 13, chapter 16, 19. 
A reading from the Book of Wisdom. There is no God other than you who cares for everything, to whom you might have to prove that you never judge unjustly. Your justice has its source in strength. Your sovereignty over all makes you linen to all. You show your strength when your sovereign power is questioned, and you expose the insolence of those who know it. But disposing of such strength, you are mild in judgment. You govern us with great lenience, for you have only to will, and your power is there. By acting thus, you have taught us a lesson to your people. Know the virtuous man must be kind to his fellow men, and you have given your sons the good hope that after sin you will grant repentance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response song. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of love to all who call. God, give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. Response. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. All the nations shall come to adore you and glorify your name. O Lord, for you are great and do marvelous deeds, you who alone are God. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. But you, God of mercy and compassion, slow to anger, O Lord, abounding in love and with truth, turn and take pity on me. O Lord, you are good and forgiving. Our second reading is a reading from St. Paul to Romans 8, chapter 26 to 27. The Spirit come to help us in our weakness, for when we cannot choose what in order to play property, the Spirit himself expresses our power in a way that could never be put into our words. And God who knows everything in our heart, knows perfectly well that he meant, and that the prayer of the saints expresses the spirit of the spirit and according to the mind of God, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our mind so that we can see what hope his call holds for us. Alleluia. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord.
chapter 13, reading from verse 24 to 43. Jesus put a parable before the crowds. The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a man who sowed good seed in his field. While everybody was asleep, his enemy came, sowed Daniel all among the wheat and made off. When the new wheat sprouted and ripened, the Daniel appeared as well. The owner's servants went to him and said, Sir, was it not good seed that you sowed in your field? If so, where does the Daniel come from? Some enemy has done this, he answered. And the servant said, Do you want us to go and read it out? But he said, No, because when you read out the Daniel, you might pull up the wheat with it. Let them both grow to the harvest, and at harvest time I shall say to the reapers, First collect the Daniel and tie it in bundles to be bent, then gather the wheat into my barn. He put another parable before them. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed, which a man took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it is the biggest shrub of all, and becomes a tree, so that the birds of the air come and shelter in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like the yeast a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour till it was living all through. In all this, Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. Indeed, he would never speak to them except in parables. This was to fulfill the prophecy. I will speak to you in parables and expound things hidden since the foundation of the world. Then leaving the crowds, he went to the house, and his disciples came to him and said, Explain the parable about the Daniel in the field to us. He said in reply, The sower of the good seed is the son of man. The field is the world. The good seed is the subject of the kingdom. The Daniel, the subject of the evil one. The enemy who sowed them, the devil, the harvest is the end of the world. The reapers are the angels. Well then, just as the Daniel is gathered up and bent in the fire, so it will be at the end of time. The Son of Man will send his angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all things that provoke offenses and all who do evil and throw them into the blazing furnace, where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Then the virtues will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their father. Listen, anyone who has ears. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please sit. Beloved in Christ, I speak to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. To be honest, the gospel today is very loaded, but we have only 10 minutes, so if you don't really um, get everything that is written in the gospel, don't be um, worried at all, because uh, we've got a lot to say today. Blabbered in Christ, the nature of God can be described or seen in different ways. We all know that God is omnipotent, omniscient, omnipresent, omnibenevolent, holy, love, etc. Indeed, we can go on and on in our attempt to express the nature of God. It is also important to note that we all see God differently depending on our relationship, experience, or journey with him. 
in our constant devotional reading and study of the Word of God, we see his nature and character revealed in it. An essential characteristic of God is that he is always ready and can help us through our walk with him. God is our helper, and therefore, we should not allow anything to be a stumbling block between us and our helper. Beloved in Christ, God, Jesus Christ always spoke in parables. And the reason is very simple. Because it was very difficult for us to really understand the things of heaven. And this is because we've not been there. If you've not been to any place, you cannot really describe how the place looks like. A person who has been there will find it quite easy to do that than you, because you've not been there. Now, we've not been to heaven, so Jesus, in a trying to explain how things work in heaven, uses parables. And basically, it is to use the things of the world, which we know very well, to explain to us how things work in heaven. So parables, in a nutshell, is just for us to know how God does his things and how God operates. Beloved in Christ, I give this quote. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought. But the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Romans 8, 26. Beloved in Christ, we are weak, frail, and make mistakes. We can never be perfect. And in fact, the real definition of perfect is God himself. God knows that. He knows that very well. That you are weak, I am weak. So he has given us the Holy Spirit to help us even in our weakness. The Spirit does not only come to us to help us in our weakness alone, but also to intercede for us. God is willing to help us in all things. He acknowledges our weaknesses and does not want us to allow them to prevent us from getting closer to him. So he has sent unto us the Holy Spirit to help us. Beloved, the Holy Spirit is in you. The Holy Spirit is in me. And it is incumbent upon us all the time to pray that the Spirit continues to dwell in us. God wants you to know that he is with us in all things. And that we will never walk alone. If we continue to see him as our helper. He is compassionate. Slow to anger and abounding in love and truth. Beloved in Christ, do not be afraid because he will never leave us. Difficulties may come. But we should always ask him for help. And he will answer. When we pray, beloved, we should allow the Spirit to move and have his way so that our prayers will be expressed in the way of the Spirit to reach God. There is no other God than our God because he cares for everyone and governs us with great lenience and justice. God's grace is made fervent in hope faith and charity so beloved in Christ we should not worry too much but always present our case to God he is ready to listen and position us in the right place he encourages us in Psalm 30 verse 5 and I quote for his anger is but for a moment and his favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may tarry for the night, but joy comes with the morning. Unquote. Be encouraged, beloved in Christ. 
Because God will certainly meet us at the point of our need. We should just have faith in him and never give up. Beloved, it is very difficult to have faith. No, we always define faith as things that we have not seen, but yet we believe that they exist or they are there or they will come to pass. It is very difficult and sometimes we become discouraged. But let us always know that with faith, there is nothing that we cannot achieve. With faith, we can move mountains. And with faith, a lot of things can happen in our lives. With faith, the sick will be healed. With faith, the oppressed will be made whole. Beloved, faith is key in every Christian's life. So you realize that the gospel also talked to us about the master's seed. The Bible tells us that if our faith is as less as the master's seed, we can ask the mountains to move and they will move. You have not tried it before. Try it and believe in God and have faith in him. Beloved, as Christians, we must always remember that the enemy is always close by and will never leave us until he achieves his goal. He always plans to make things difficult and destroy us when the opportunity presents itself. And he presents unto us fear. So we are always afraid. Even when we are going to reach our goal, we become so afraid that we find it very difficult to take the step. This is the work of the devil. The Bible tells us, for we are not given the spirit of timidity, but we are given the spirit of boldness. This is the kind of spirit that we have been given. And so we should never be afraid. But we should always know that the devil is always with us. When you read um, Job, it tells you that when the sons of men guarded, Satan was also there. So while we are guarded here, Satan is also here. So he will always be around. But we should not be afraid. This is the reason why we must always stay closer to God all the time because he alone can save us. God's warning is clear and I quote, Behold, I am sending you out as sheep in the midst of wolves. So be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Unquote. Matthew 10, 16. In the gospel, Jesus speaks of the parable of wheat and tares and explains it to the disciples. The parable shows how the enemy can be very destructive. Daniel is very poisonous to humans and animals and it is mostly found in grain fields and can easily be confused with wheat. This is how the devil works. He presents things that are very nice that if you don't take care you may think that this is God working. That is why we need to be very prayerful and always be in the spirit. We can see the difference between it and wheat during harvest time. The enemy is close by, very cunning and poisonous, but we should be glad because God is our help and will never leave us unguarded or unprotected. The enemy may be close, beloved in Christ, but God is closer. And he will always guard and protect his own. So do not be afraid because he is watching over us. I will conclude with Psalm 121. I am not quoting it because time is not on our side. But when we all go home, we should try and read Psalm 121. It says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, etc., etc. Let us meditate on it. And know that no matter what we go through, God will continue to be our help. Amen.
Beloved in Christ, we will rise and say the creed which signifies our faith in the Lord. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of saints, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Let us still our hearts and minds, and together with our global online family, give thanks to God for the many blessings we have received, and pray to him for the church, the world, and those in need. Holy God, we pray for your worldwide church, especially for those who worship in fear of their lives. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons, and today for our own congregation, and ask you to bless all those involved in today's Sunday School and Thursday's upcoming fellowship venture. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We thank you for the example of leadership given to us by your Son, Jesus Christ, in his life on earth. We pray for the renewal of a spirit of humility and a sense of responsibility among leaders of this world, that the hungry might be fed and the oppressed might be freed to live in peace. We pray for King Charles III and all in authority under him that we might be quietly and godly governed. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We worship you as the one who has given us this life and we ask that you will help us to live it to the full. At home may we be the friends and neighbours that you really want us to be. Help us to spread the warmth of your love to everyone we meet. We pray especially at this time for all children and young people, their teachers and parents, as they begin the summer break, and for those in our congregation on holiday. We ask that they may be kept safe from harm and evil. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. We thank you for your love and compassion for all who suffer in body, mind and spirit. We pray that your healing presence will calm their fears, ease their pain and bring light into the darkness of all who are sick. We ask that you will be with us and all who need your loving touch at this time. We pray by name for Wayne Campbell, Norma Piggott, Gemma, Deborah Ann Potts, Julie and her mother, Mavis and Daniel Sibley, Susanna Mansa, Jay, Atlantic and family, Desmond and Yolanda de Gale, C, Oliver Joseph, Nadifa. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Merciful God, through the death of your Son, Jesus Christ, you have freed us from the grip of the tomb. We pray for those who have departed this life and ask you through your loving kindness to have mercy on their souls. We pray too for those bereaved by that, their passing. We remember those whose anniversary of death falls at this time. Mary Rigby, Charles McCalvin, Irene Davis. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord and that light perpetual shine upon them. We turn to Mary, Queen of Heaven, and pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
Pray, Pray for, for us sinners us now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord, send us out to do your will and spread your word to all we meet. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. We'll now sing the hymn number 262 and give generously towards the work of God. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the Lord, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servant and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. up 
Sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Until you Oh 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Justin, our Archbishop, Jonathan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you. Peace of the Lord be with you. away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb.
the Lord, the gracious and merciful, has made a memorial of his wonders. He gives food to those who fear him. Beloved in Christ, watching us online, at this point we want to encourage all of you to also make your spiritual communion.
The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Please sing. Beloved in Christ, we have all the notices um, at the back of the pew sheet you have in your hand. And um, that aspect of it which I want to talk more of is um, our parish giving. You see that those ones are written in bold letters, meaning it is very, very important to us. So try and take action on that. And we are also reminding all of you that we are starting our Thursday Fun and Fellowship on this Thursday. And it happens on the first of every Thursday, the third and the fourth of every month. Every first Thursday, third uh, Thursday, and the fourth Thursday of every month. We will have the 59 Club coming in on the second Thursday of every month. And it is going to be fun. We will play board games. We will um, have tea, coffee, cake, biscuits. Uh, we will also um, share a word from the Bible. So if you really want to fellowship, make time with us on every Thursday, apart from the second Thursday of every month, at 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. And you will really enjoy yourselves. We want to also encourage all those who want to help with the tea and coffee, both for um, after Mass every Sunday and also on Thursdays at the Thursday Fan and Fellowship. Thank you very much, and may God bless us all. We have baby, so we will invite uh, our dear mom to come and... Oh, we have Sunday school immediately after Mass, 11.30, Sunday school at the church hall. So we want to encourage all the children to join us after Mass at the church hall. <coughs> Gertrude. Gertrude. No, uh, I think she's here, so she should come for it herself. And uh, we will sing the happy birthday for her. Gertrude. My own dear wife. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Gertrude, happy birthday to you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth in peace and announce the gospel of Christ. We are reminded that immediately after Mass, there will be tea and coffee at the church hall. Please try and join us. Thank you. And cake as well.
that she conceived by the Holy Ghost. How my full grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thy among women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it unto me according to thy word. How my full grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the world was made flesh, and dwelt among us. How my full grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou, my women, and blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. All fault we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that as we have known the incarnation of thy Son, Jesus Christ, by the message of an angel, so by his cross and passion we may be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. We now sing the hymn 500. Lovely on the mountains are the feet of me, who brings good news, good news. Peace, proclaiming news of happiness, our God brings, our God brings. Our God brings, our God brings, our God brings, our God brings. God bless. 